Okay, so we're going to be looking at the power usage of this Honeywell convection heater. And I have it plugged into this older model kilowatt, but should be good enough for our purposes to see the power usage of this Honeywell heater, which is uh, sped to be 150, sorry, 1500 watt heater at max. So turn it on. We have it on the lower fan speed. Put the temperature above where it is now, so it'll be on. Put it on 85, it's much colder than 85 in this room right now. And low fan speed. See it's operating at 900 watts, 850 watts. So a uh, very serious power pull out of this thing. Go through there, we got standard voltage, standard Hertz seven amps so a lot of amp pull and then we have that as far as our wattage number floating right around 900 watts let's turn it on to the high mode fan speed is high now Fifteen twenty one, fourteen eighty seven, fourteen fifty, fourteen fifty. So we are in that fifteen hundred watch range, as you'd expect. There's probably a little bit of clearance here for above that. This is on high, so we want the maximum temperature. And then we'll go ahead and put the oscillation on, which probably won't use much power, especially relative to the heater. But we'll see where we're at. around 1420 it is oscillating right now oscillation doesn't seem to really be using any significant amount of power turn off the oscillation low fan speed and the power consumption about halves to uh call it 800 watts if i lower the temperature it shouldn't really have an effect on it unless this actually turns off this thing's either on or it's off and now we'll see this thing slow down mm, it's on low speed it should at some point go into fan only mode but it doesn't seem to want to trigger that i think the thermostat on this thing is uh not super sensitive but the room is put it on 60 right now I guess it thinks the room is around 60 degrees, which it's not, it's warmer than 59. Eh, it thinks it's 59, even though it's warmer than that. Anyway, turn it up. So our target temperature now is 85 degrees. And so this is trying to go as heavy and as hard as it can. And we're again, about 1430. Doesn't seem like it really wants to go past that so anyway the full range of this device seems to be between 800 and 1400 and 50 watts give or take so there you go and then the amp draw is up to 12 amps so this thing will definitely blow a circuit if you have other stuff going on on this circuit if and that's a, you know assuming a standard household circuit in the u.s so we're at 12 and change now most of these are 15 amp circuits so pretty close to that but we have a little bit of clearance uh you know for some lighting and whatnot in the room plug in a laptop something like that anyway that should pretty much cover it